can get a lot of scissors, a lot of corkscrews, a lot of nail files. Ever wonder what happens to your pocket knife when the TSA takes it away? It ends up here. We don't determine what gets, uh, gets confiscated or voluntarily surrendered. That's the TSA that does that. What we do get is these items and we put them on for sale. We're able to handle the volume, sort it out, put the uh, items here in the store, prepare them to go online at govdeals.com. This state warehouse is filled with items that the TSA says can be used as weapons and also with items that simply look like weapons. On an airplane, you, you could do some damage a, with this. Yes. Two words for you, plastic explosives. <laughs> This is our surplus warehouse, and as you can see, it, it is very expansive, and in the back is where we take our uh, receipt of our TSA items. This right here is an example of how we would get items. No rhyme or reason. Belts, glasses, corkscrews, the little, uh, little utility knives, always popular shake weight, and, and power tools. This is where we prep all the online items. And this could be Leatherman knives, this could be Swiss Army knives, this could be corkscrews, whatever, scissors, shipped out. The jewelry that you see here is something that we would get through the lost and found. School districts mm -hmm. come in, they get a lot of scissors. I mean, you can find a good bargain if the finger holes fit and you're in the market for a bowling ball. Three dollars. I have a thrift shop in Lebanon of Pennsylvania, and a guy at the auction told me I need to check this place out to uh, find some good deals. I had my eyeball on that statue right there. Uh, how much are you buying that for? Six dollars. And how much are you going to sell it for? I'm not sure. I'm hoping maybe 20. Something like that will, will not be sold.